Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. This is the second video of today, and I'm going to feature the Object 907 Tier 10 Premium Soviet Medium Tank. That's right, the game needs more Soviet Medium Tanks, so they gave us an opportunity to get another one. Let's compare it. I'm going to throw in some other uh, Soviet Medium Tanks, and right away, the 907, you can see, it has mid range horsepower but really the horsepower to ton ratio is the most important and it's second in the list behind the K91 uh, when we're looking at guns the reload time is one of the worst besides the 430U but then it has uh, lower alpha damage soft stats look pretty solid accuracy during moving and rotating turret 5 degrees of gun depression Jumping into the tracks, feel free to pause this stuff if you want to see a closer look. Almost on par with the 430U here, uh, 54 degrees per second though, so it's going to spin as fast as the 140, um, but it has the same ground resistances as the 430U. Getting into the turret, we do 38 degrees per second, so a little bit faster than the 430U, a little less than the 140. And then the view range is 400, which is on point besides the K91 at 410. Then jump in to everyone's favorite, the radio. And this is where it sings. The 907 has 850 meter signal range and outclasses all the Soviets. So that's why this one is the best and you should get it. All right, looking at ammunition, more serious note. Uh, shell velocity is phenomenal. 15, 35 meters per second on a standard APCR rounds. Heat shells are at 900, that's okay. Uh, and then HEs are 900. So it's not as good as the K91, but it's right on point with the 140's velocity. Armor profile, the side has this really sloped angle. Um, so it's gonna be tricky to penetrate, I think. And it's kind of got rounded front armor angled really well. The armor is going to be pretty troll. Um, I think you're just going to want to load your heat shells and blow through that thing. So, looking at the standard shell damage, 353 on par with the K91 and the 140. 430U has obviously got higher alpha, but it had, does have the slowest reload out of the three of them. And a little bit faster than the 430U because it doesn't have the alpha damage. Concealment. Looks like it's got the most concealment out of all of them, so that's kind of a bonus. Um, and like I said, the, the rest of it, it looks like the signal range is really like the key because radios are so important in this game, uh, especially at tier 10. All right, so that's really all I got for you guys. Feel free to go back, pause it, uh, take a look deeper into the stats. I just touched on a little bit of it. Um, do I recommend this tank? I mean, to me, these are all collector tanks. Like, I wouldn't recommend anyone ever to go out and buy these tanks at full price. Maybe half price. Earn half the XP and then buy it. Um, but really, these are like treasure collectors um, once you're done with everything else, in my opinion. Just because there's tech tree tanks that do it just as good. I mean, you can argue. The M60 is kind of a niche tank, and the VK is kind of a hybrid fun tank with high alpha damage. So, if it looks like something that you want, then buy it. If you're disinterested, don't buy it. That's as easy as I got for you. Alright, I'll quit babbling. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.